Hello, and thank you for coming out to honor Florence Nightingale. Florence Nightingale was born to a wealthy family in 1820. It was clear from a young age she had a servant's heart. Most days she could be found tending to the poor and ill people of nearby villages. At the age of 17, she had a clear call into nursing, and all nurses are glad she did. Because of Florence Nightingale, nursing is seen as a respectable profession. Nightingale has been hailed the founder of modern day nursing. Before Nightingale, nurses had no formal education and learned rather by experience. In society, nurses were seen as low status and not respected. In fact, when Nightingale told her parents she was going to be a nurse, her father forbid it because they were wealthy and upper social class. But Nightingale had clear calling and pursued it anyway. After working as a nurse for a few years, Nightingale received a letter asking her to assemble a team of nurses to help wounded soldiers in the Crimean War. She quickly assembled a team of 32. It was there at the military hospital where she pioneered the basic fundamentals of nursing that we still use today. When Nightingale first arrived at the hospital, she was appalled at the conditions. She quickly put everyone to work, scouring the hospital from top to bottom. This is the basic infection control that's still in practice today. In fact, after the war, she wrote a report detailing the problems with sanitation and the need for change to improve these conditions. During her time at the hospital, she would earn the nickname, the lady with the lamp. Nightingale most nights would be found roaming the halls with a lamp, checking on her patients and assessing their conditions. This is still in use today and is one of the most basic skills nurses are taught. After the war ended, Nightingale returned home and was awarded $250,000 for her work. She used the award money to form the first ever nursing school, Nightingale Training School for Nurses housed at St. Thomas Hospital. After her very public advances in nursing, no longer was nursing seen as low status. In fact, many upper social class women sought to be just like Florence Nightingale. Nightingale is every nurse's role model. She's the picture of how a nurse should be. Hardworking, caring, and dedicated to making her patient's life better or more dignified. And she has been quoted to say, if a nurse declines to do these kinds of things for her patient because it is not her business, I should say that nursing was not her calling. I have seen surgical sisters, women whose hands were worth to them two to three guinea a week, down upon their knees, scouring a room or hut because they thought it otherwise not for their pa fit for their patients to go into. I am far from wishing nurses to scour. It's a waste of power. But I do say these women had the true nurse's calling, the good of the sick first, second only to the consideration what is their place to do. And that women who wait for the housemates to do this or char women to do that when their patients are suffering have not the makings of a nurse in them. Now, it's my great pleasure to introduce you to our guest of honor, Miss Florence Nightingale. 